Hey guys, happy Monday, how's it going? I'm back with another market update. I'm Caitlin McKegg, I am a real estate broker here in the Phoenix, Arizona area, and I give market updates every Monday on what's going on in the Phoenix real estate market. I appreciate you guys tuning in every week. I know a lot of you watch this update each week, and I'm glad that it's helpful to you. If there's any information that you wanna know specifically, make sure you comment below, let me know, and I will see what I can find for you. All of this info is from the Cromford Report, which I'm a subscriber to. They analyze MLS data on a daily basis and create a lot of different charts and graphs and great information for realtors to share with their clients. So I look at their info and share this with you guys every Monday. One of the things we talk about every Monday is the CMI, which is the Cromford Market Index. It's a proprietary algorithm that they've created, but it helps us understand the supply and demand of housing in our market. And their algorithm works this way. So if the number or the index is over 110, that means we're in a seller's market. If it's below 90, that means we're in a buyer's market. And anywhere between that 90 to 110 mark, um, range is considered a balanced market. So we've been way over 110 for a long time. We track this every week just to see where we're headed. And recently, the CMI changed direction. It had been going down for quite a while from the height that we had a few months ago, and it was definitely getting up there pretty high. It's been going down and down and down, but then for the last few weeks, it started to uptick again. So today we're sitting at 349.1. Last week was 348.5, I believe. So not a huge change, but it has gone upward. When we look at our demand, that has increased as well. Um, demand last week was at 114.9 and this week it's 116. So what that means is demand is 16% above normal. And then our supply is sitting at 33.2 this week, which last week it was sitting at 33. So not a huge change, but it has gone up a little bit. And that number means that we are 33.2% of normal supply. Uh, in other words, we're about 70 uh, or 68% below normal um, or 67% below normal for our supply here in Phoenix. So same story. We've had a few changes from last week, but nothing really significant. If you look at the graph of the CMI right now, it's sitting about the same level that it was last fall. So if any of you were in the real estate market last fall or remember hearing what was going on at that time, we're kind of back to what that felt like. I do remember that that was still a crazy time, although not as insane as the spring was for us in real estate, but it was definitely a very competitive market with multiple offers, all the things that we're still seeing today. So that's where we stand with the CMI. The last few weeks, I've been talking about the uh, number of buyers and demand and some of those things that we've been seeing in our market. Last week, I talked about uh, the buyers and if they were intending to uh, keep these homes as their primary residence or if they were investors and what that mix looked like. I have another update on who these buyers are um, and it relates to whether they are in-state or out-of-state buyers. So you guys might find this info interesting. Um, right now, 18% of our buyers are coming from out-of-state. It's a pretty significant number, I think, compared to past. And unfortunately, I don't know the past stats, but 18% is a good chunk of our buyers. And 14% um, or 14 of those buyers are purchasing higher than the median sales price um, than our in-state buyers are. So again, that's something that people have been talking about, that out-of-state buyers have more buying power come in and are purchasing homes for more money than what us locals would normally purchase for, which is one of the reasons why our home prices have increased. That statistic obviously proves that to be true. The number one place of people moving here uh, from out of state is San Francisco. So there you go. There's some trivia for you if you're interested on what's in what's going on uh, with buyers here in Phoenix. 
just figured I would throw those nuggets out for all of you um, since we've been kind of tracking who these buyers are and this increased demand that's been taking place lately. We still have a lot of that iBuyer demand or investor demand uh, taking place, and we'll see how that shakes out over the next few months, but they are certainly one of the big reasons our demand has been going up in the Phoenix market. Last thing I wanted to mention as we've talked about prices increasing, if you were in the market looking for a home last year and never purchased a home and now looking again this year, when you look at the data, you have lost about 230 square feet of your house. <laughs> so I know that's not huge, but it could be, you know, a garage or something, uh, a single car garage, uh, maybe a small bedroom, but what you could afford last year for the same price gave you 230 square feet more than what you could afford this year if you're looking at the same price. So again, just a little nugget of information for anyone interested in that info. Um, and that's all I got. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any follow-up questions or want to know any other information, comment below or schedule a time to chat with me. Look in the description. I've got a link there and my contact information. And as always, I appreciate all of you guys watching these videos every week. I will be back next week with another market update and uh, have a home tour for you later this week. So thanks everybody, have a great week.